How do refrigerators work? You may recognize this from the back of a fridge. It's called the condenser. Inside the fridge, connected to the condenser, is the evaporator. A gas called a coolant is circulated from the evaporator to the condenser and back again. A modern fridge uses tetrafluoroethane as coolant. The coolant moves heat from the inside of the insulated cabinet to the outside. Because of a difference in temperature and pressures, the coolant keeps transitioning between a liquid and gas and back again. These pressures are managed by a compressor, usually at the bottom of the fridge, and an expansion valve or metering device. Starting at the evaporator, the heat from the inside of the fridge evaporates the coolant running through the tubes. The heated gas then travels down to the compressor, which pressurizes the gas. As it flows through the condenser at the back of your fridge, the coolant now radiates its heat away to the ambient air. Here it condenses under pressure, turning most of the coolant into a liquid. This is also why warm air rises from the back of your fridge, and why built-in fridges need air vents top and bottom. When the coolant has run its course through the condenser, it goes through the expansion valve, which is basically a tiny hole constricting the tubing between the high-pressure condenser and low-pressure evaporator. As the coolant re-enters the evaporator, the sudden decrease in pressure causes about half the liquid to explosively evaporate. It again picks up heat from inside the fridge and flows down to the compressor again. And so the cycle repeats. A thermometer inside the fridge measures the temperature and turns on the compressor when the temperature gets too high. This is what you hear when the fridge turns on. And yes, the light truly turns off when you close the door. Hey, my name is Seb.